Uh, welcome to Colorful and Anime, where we talk about anime from a colorful perspective. I'm your host, Lance. Some friends with me, of course, Chris. Hi. Jordan. And Malcolm with the Cinnabon. Hello, hello. Um, because it's lit, you know. Toby Maxson out here. All right, partying. Uh, how's everybody doing? Everybody good? Chilling. Good. Chilling. Have like very, a very deep philosophical conversations before the pod. <laughs> yeah. Because why not? Uh, why wouldn't you do it? Uh, we are philosophical Negroes, right? Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> philosophical I Negroes. I'm an ignorant nigga. You know what? Don't let nobody tell you different. You know what? <laughs> said I'm an ignorant She's nigga. ignorant. She That's like you she ignorant on the brain. Ignorant. <laughs> Facts. She's like, yeah, you're getting um, lit. You're right. <laughs> uh, let's talk about it. We had it. We're here. Main topic. We all saw the new Batman movie. Yeah. Um, I feel like a million different ways about it. Uh, but the first, like, first, first thing I wanted to ask before we get to anything, because we talked with well, last Batman. Last time we talked about Batman, we talked about essentially the whole catalog of Batman movies. How does this rank up compare <laughs> to any of the other Batman movies? High, mid, low. For me, it's two to nineteen eighty nine. Mm. And so I you think it's the second best Batman movie. Second best Batman. Mm. And then Dark Knight is third. Like a super close third. Yeah. I mean, for me, out of all the Batman movies I've seen, it's my favorite. Yeah. I probably am third. I think I like Dark Knight better than this one. But it is up there. It's definitely in my top five. Like, if I go back and look at everything, it's definitely in my top five. I think, and obviously we'll talk about this too, I think... I, although I like Heath Ledger, Heath Ledger's Joker villain, the cinematography of this movie, like how dirty it feel, it look, it's like, it feel like I've never been in New York, I mean, but this definitely feels like exactly like what that looks like. It felt like New York and Chicago had a child. Exactly. Chicago, yeah. like yeah. when you see all them yeah. underpasses, that's what it reminds me of Chicago. I think that's the good thing about like DC having fictional cities. Yeah. Have, yeah, that's true. You can the the you city has its yeah. own yeah. identity yeah. Vibe, instead of yeah. matching with something in real life. Yeah, yeah Gotham true. looked mad, like real sketchy. <laughs> like I was like, yeah, it, like people niggas get mugged every day. At real, day. <laughs> like every, like, and so I think that that's I will put it. I'm putting it one because I don't feel like any Batman movie has gotten a that aesthetic. Feel, right? feel it, it's always feel campy, which has worked for like the different Gotham right. movies. It's a comic book. Right, but this this is like uh, yeah, like I was, this I could we would act if yeah. you go too far in certain parts of Indiana or certain like Chicago, yeah, right. I would probably run into this like you know these different yeah. spots that they had at, at the wrong time of day. Yeah. You know? yeah, and it was interesting because I was talking to somebody about that about like the whole cinematography piece and all that and like the way the movie looked. Like if you took Batman completely out of this movie, it's still a really good looking movie. Like, yeah, and it's still a really interesting movie. Like yeah. The movie looks really good. Well, well, let's talk about that because we and we also talked. We talked a little bit too about the, the different Batmans and stuff like yeah. that. Uh, and this, I'll, I guess, I'll break this up into two questions. How does like it's more regards to Robert Pattinson? How does he live up to his Bruce Wayne persona and his Batman persona? I, I was to, conflicted. Listen, I had to keep. Self correct, and I think that's maybe one of the reasons why I'm like, okay, because I, I was right too, yet, by the way. Because we'll talk about that. He, <laughs> we'll talk about that. I had to keep reminding myself, okay, this is year two Batman. Yeah, Raquette, like, had to keep coming back to that. Okay, this is year two Batman, and I think that sure, sure. the ending made me feel better about him. Yeah, because it was about he was still learning and growing who he was as a hero. Mm -hmm. And so he starts to understand the importance well, of like him needing to be hope. To not people. even just as a hero, as an actual person, yeah. because yeah. I because I thought it was so great because it's like this is gear two Batman and this show his foundation to like yeah. his his thought process. Yeah. As a hero, mm -hmm. and his relationship with Alfred obviously was just like that was not my fucking dad until the very yeah. end yeah. when he realized like right. oh I care right. about this man and he's been here yeah. watching me and stuff. So I, that's why I liked it because it was like this is year yeah. two Batman and this is the type of shit that he would that, that he would happen. have to figure right. out. Yeah. Well, and just not just that, but like the idea of like um. So we talked a lot about like Batman is both Bruce Wayne and 
and Batman Mm -hmm. and that that was a lot of things that normal characters get wrong about him and I think that this film explores that struggle really well Mm -hmm. because he does start out the whole thing trying to reject who he actually is as a person who, who Bruce Wayne is completely like I'm I am vengeance like that's just his thing but then what he ends up noticing he only notices two things one is that that kind of like vengeful attitude was creating people like the Riddler and the people that followed him, but also that who he is as Bruce Wayne as the privileged, you know, rich kid that he was one reality check. Um, but also that there's stuff that like you, I could do well as, as Bruce Wayne as who I actually am too. And he starts to understand the kind of, yeah, what that might look like. I think this was like well, so I like I love Batman animated series. That's the best Batman anything that will ever be made for sure. For sure. But for sure. in the animated series, which I like with this, Batman is the cause of all his villains in the cartoon. Yes, like literally. Yeah, and so they played into that in the movie where his neglecting Bruce Wayne and his dad's legacy. And focusing solely on Batman allowed corruption to take hold. Yep. And right. then the people that are um put are tired of the corruption to root up. And he's the literally the yeah. reason that yeah. the city has gotten worse. Yeah. Look, all I'm saying is, is I said that Batman is a head case. And I said this, and y'all was like, nah, he's a playboy. He's what? like, what? No, 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 oh, 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 that was yeah, backtracking. You, you can, ba- uh, you can y'all play are backtracking. That back y'all, no, there's, there's, the there's literal thing. proof. So my, I my, my, my hypo- let me finish. Go ahead, Word, go let ahead. me finish. But my hypothesis was this leaves him un- unhinged a little bit, unsettled a little bit. And the whole movie, and this is what Robert Patterson said he tried to portray him as, was Batman is trying to, like, where Bruce Wayne is and be Batman and struggle with that. And I said, yo, that sounds like a mental instability. That sounds not normal. That sounds like he's almost as crazy as the people that he's inspiring, like the Riddler, Future Joker, all that sort of stuff. And so I got, fl- y'all gave me flack. Y'all, y'all, but it's cool if you want to catch amnesia. No, That's no. fine. That's Nobody, okay. No, Batman. That's okay. We I said fly, Batman no. is traumatized. That's what I'm saying. He's yeah, handling his that trauma. He's tra- that's how this is. Batman is how Bruce Wayne handles the trauma that happened to him when he was yeah. a child. Right. That's what we and said. that's why I said with this movie, I had to keep checking myself like, ah, this is year two Batman. Right. He hasn't gotten to the place of the Batman that He hasn't I resolved know. himself yet. Right. right. So as when, a hero. when I'm talking about resolved Batman, I'm talking about he is both people and you code switch your trauma. You, yeah, do you remember me saying that? No. That you code you switch your trauma? That. You didn't yes, say I that. Did. Nah. <laughs> yes, I did. Nah. Yes, I did. Hey, I said, hey, I said you had to pull people, a clip no, on that one. No, I said that people, <laughs> that, deal, people that deal with their trauma when they're younger, <laughs> as they mature and kind yeah. of settle with it, they learn how to code switch themselves where you can you can be both the charismatic playboy and the dark brooding like person and that still both be who you are as a person. Right. But right. You're, just because I went through something wasn't... as a kid doesn't mean every moment in my life is going to be this sad person. No, no, I agree. But I think That's like. That's what I said in the episode when we were talking about <laughs> sure, it. Sure. So, but y'all also predi- predicted Batman to be a little bit different than what he ended I, up yeah, being for year two Batman. Because I underestimated how how deep they were going to go into this idea of him, of an early Batman stage. <coughs> Which but I appreciate. He, he, wasn't re- yeah. he wasn't resolute as I know Batman. But right. he also didn't know who he was yeah. as right. a person. Right. Yeah, Which I agree. I agree. He thought he had... He thought he... Well... We didn't really he know He thought he was... was yeah, he yeah. had to reject his, him being Bruce Wayne in order to help the city fully. Yeah. And then he sees that, well... My de- my family wasn't shit, and yeah. then all this shit happened because I wasn't. Bru- so he was yeah yeah fighting with that, and at the end he kind of resolved, resolved yeah, himself. We'll talk yeah. about the end of the movie too. I take some issue with it, but I, love, I really oh, I did love the Riddler though. Yeah, the Riddler was, was good. I like you know what it is. I like the Riddler a lot 
because it was a believable Riddler. Riddler. It's just a weird villain compared to all like the great oh, villains. You, you never and, seen Batman Hush or read Batman Hush? Mm-mm. This is basically Batman Hush. Yeah. Huh. Riddler was. I, I guess I'm. I'm talking about. I guess the actor. I guess like. Oh. Like the. No, the actor I thought was perfect. Yeah. I, yeah. I didn't, but it was just different compared to all of the other big names. I think that's why I loved the Riddler. Yeah. In I think Gotham. Yeah. You said I, what? I, I in, watch in Gotham. Gotham, the TV series. Yeah. He's yeah. got oh, that yeah, yeah. same, and I'm. I was like, oh, like that. He was one of the reasons why I liked the television series. Sure. Yeah. That and I was just following the dance career of the little girl that plays um, Catwoman. I love her just as she's a great dancer. Anyway. Yeah. Um, but like that, he was. He felt perfect to me. He was perfect, and he was him being unassuming. Fit. Yeah, but yeah. Right, yeah, I, I that appreciate that. When he's like, "Who are you? I'm nobody." Like literally, I'm a nobody. Or he's like, "I don't, I don't have the physical capabilities to do the hard shit." Right. That I you got do, you to yeah. do for me. Right. right. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, "What do you mean? I told you bring him into the line. And I shot him. That's and why also, we, we agreed yeah, right. to this, didn't we? <laughs> we did this together." <laughs> and also, I like that. So one of the big things is that, um, when they were in the interrogation room, one of Riddler's things is he. He needs to outwit Batman. Yeah, in this exactly. scenario, sets a, fo- a foundation for that type. Especially of, when he goes, and "Oh, he, you're not as smart as I thought you like, were." Like, put it right like, there, <laughs> and he like does, which is kind of crazy yeah. too, because it's like you expect at least the last, which I'll talk about the last hour of the movie last, but the last hour of the movie is like. Oh, he did it! Like he did exactly everything right. he said he was going to do. Destroyed the entire city. F- freaking, uh, what is that? End of de- last of day. What's the last days? End of days. That movie yeah. Yeah. where all the different uh, apocalyptic stuff happened. <laughs> when I was Bruce like, thinks oh. that he found out his identity. He was like, <laughs> he well, yes, bullets. it's up for me. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I mean, all right, since we here, and he's like, yeah. Batman. Bruce like, what? <laughs> Wait. Yeah, Batman, Batman, Batman was like, do I got to kill this nigga? Right. Yeah, right. <laughs> he thought about it for a second. He's like, he yeah. Do I have to break my How am I going to sneak an Arkham in? Right. He was like, yeah, do right, I destroy? Right. Delay was like, do I destroy that thing before they get the password and find out who I am? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like, no, I, it's, yeah. No, I, I did appreciate the Riddler for sure, though. Like, that was like, yeah. it was and, it was interesting. Best Catwoman? Oh, that's my next thing I want to talk about. Let's yeah. talk about you this. You gotta think it's a young cat woman too. Yeah. 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 She definitely looks the part. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I didn't hate I didn't hate again, and I was talking about nepotism before. I didn't hate Zoe Kravis in this at all. I just think that um it I don't know, some weird things going there. Like they were like so I don't know if y'all paid attention. She had like the the cat yeah. the, nails, the nails, cat yeah. nails, yeah. which are actually like was mostly accidental. wasn't like written in the original script that she kind of was like, I was growing my nails. What do y'all think about this? And then kind of let it fly yeah. while she was recording. It, it, I don't know. I think like I don't mind her as a young cat woman. I didn't mind it. Um, I don't think like the script lended her anything else other than what it was. So it wasn't like she was a dynamic character at all. No, but that's well, okay. Well, um, dynamic, she was. I don't like that they made. I don't know. Uh, yeah, so. yeah. so. mobster her dad. They didn't make uh, Mr. Didn't D's butler her made, dad. I don't know if I like not, that. Is that not, comic book accurate? Stop it. <laughs> That's yeah. immediately said, what, 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 what I thought when what? I saw him. I was said, like, oh, that's the nigga what? from Mr. D's. That's uh, se- se- Sector 7. <laughs> oh. No, the, only, the person that's I thought of was, I thought of old boy from Transformers. That's, that's yeah, the first that's, place my yeah, mind went. Yeah, that was the second that's the, yeah. that's the first place my mind went. I was he like, he should, I was like, like oh, yeah, wait, he I can't even think. Oh, yeah. When she got in there, he should have been like, very sneaky. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't. But no, I disagree. I don't think her character was extremely dynamic. But I think that's fine. I think that's the point of Catwoman. Like, I'd argue what? that I'd argue that her character had more development than Bruce Wayne and Batman did. I, I'm gonna say this about Batman. I, for, I forgot to say this before we moved on for Batman. I will say that I feel like Batman, which is fine. Batman got out of the way so that the entire story of the movie can kind of live. What? No, I don't know about all that. I, yeah, I mean, if you think about all of the things that kind of ex- like the mobster, the corruption, uh, you know, the Catwoman bit, the all, like the the Riddler's kind of journey through journeying, in, blah, 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 what do you want to call it? His him taking it through him through this whole movie. I don't feel like that Batman was terrible. I don't feel like Robert Pattinson was terrible, but I feel like he, he did a good job of letting the story develop. 
And I'll say that like the story was kind of bigger than any. Just well, he one was a de- it was a detective story. He was right. the detective right. in the detective story. Right, but he wasn't the most important factor in the detective story. Is what I'm the saying. The detective is always the most important factor outside yeah. of the person committing the crime. Do you do, have you watched a lot of like the like detective noir type of movies? Yeah, like Science of the Lambs and all that. Yeah, yeah. And so, but that's what, I guess my point. And I'm not I'm not saying this as a knock. I'm saying that like. It had a story. That's it had a good. It had story. a good story. Yeah. It had a like a big story is what I'm yeah. saying. Uh, but I don't, you know, which is fine. But I think like, but anyway, sorry. Pivot back mm-hmm. to Catwoman. I mean, I think it's, I think she did fine. I didn't have no issues. I thought no she did really well. I thought yeah. she looked good. I thought she looked good as, looked very as the good. character. I thought <laughs> she did crying. a really good job. I'm single. I can say that. Yeah, <laughs> bro. That's that, <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. That's not. I, that's not what I meant. By I know that. that's not what you meant. <laughs> that's what, what I meant. I'm talking for myself. This is not See, but then you say that, and then it, people are like assuming, like, oh, Jordan meant the same thing. Right. No, he didn't. He nah. didn't. I didn't. Yeah. No, um, no but I felt good. like from what, because, again, not a huge comic book nerd, like, never really read comic books growing up. From my mental interpretation of Catwoman, she looked like Catwoman to what I would think Catwoman looked like. Yeah. I The only thing I didn't like about it is that the infatuation grew too quick on the Batman side for me? The Catwoman side, I kind of get. Yeah, I actually felt like it grew too quick on her side. Okay. In general, their relationship, like, develop their that romantic yeah. part, grew too fast for me. It's yeah. just, I don't know. I I saw it being over a span of a few movies. Usually, how it is. Well, I just expect I think, her being well, a, like. I, got, I I felt like it was okay for her to be that quick because it's like, ooh, challenge. New right. thing right. for him is like you're gonna go to this brood and mm-hmm. hate everybody due to oh, now this chick is you just oh, right. yeah. oh my god right. you look just, at yeah. chick, look well, at that's what you said like his the that's <laughs> yeah. the, that I would agree with that like his development into that was like all of a sudden y'all yeah. like make they're, it out like romantic. what's what happened right. Right. I definitely feel like they did not write their romance because like Batman and Catwoman is one of the most like prolific love stories in all of comic books yeah period their relationship is one of the most kind of profound to me mm-hmm. and it's also <laughs> usually and i don't know if they'll take it it's usually complicated yeah usually well, extremely forbidden complicated. love right? yeah because yeah. they're on opposite side like she's always gonna be you know stealing from the rich and when, yeah, they, all, when they're yeah. about when things she's gonna change or he's like, you know, something happens and yeah. messes happens. it up. Yeah. And they have to go their separate ways. So, like, for me, it was just like, I I don't think that they wrote, wrote the romance between. Like, they had good chemistry for sure. But I think the romance written between them, especially pe- two people that are as guarded as they are yeah. to just, like. Yeah. fall for each other like especially with him having the upper hand that he knows her secret See, now identity. this is the thing like, yeah. so i thought she was gonna be part of the setup with the riddler because she when she was helping him out a little bit yeah. more at the it end. seemed oh, like the riddler because if i remember correctly i think in hush she was part of it yeah like she was the whole on thing. trying to get Batman. yeah like or well, no not trying to get batman but she's about the money oh sure yeah. She, yeah. it was an opportunity she couldn't pass up and yeah. she she he's he's a plaything. He would sure. be a plaything. That's why I thought they were gonna yeah. do it towards the end. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and we'll see. We'll see how the next one turns I mean, out. Know, apparently, there's supposed to be two more. To another yeah. Trilogy, so yeah, and then there's some spinoffs the and stuff. Idea of a trilogy. I fucking want people to stop. I'm okay. I if this do is do one a- more. I think the intrigue where, where, with like where he's Riddler, in Riddler and well, Joker becoming friends in Arkham is something I definitely want to see in the TV show. And I also I like see it in the TV show. I don't know that I need another movie. Yeah, and also like, uh, dang, am I screwing it? The, I also like who I didn't know that was a, uh, is it Colin? Yeah, Colin. I didn't know that was him. No. As oh, you mean as the penguin? Like yeah, yeah, I was like, yeah. you look nuts, yeah. it, which they, is great. It's crazy, yeah. But like, they, I even like, I would like to see a movie where he's fully developed as like an Oscar for makeup. Yes, for between sure. Between him and even oh, that's the other thing. This movie's even Mr. not B- winning Dees no Butler. awards, yeah. nerds. Uh, I need everybody to like the acting and the in the story and all. Like, it, maybe cinematography would get some recognition. Maybe they get. But that's why I said makeup. That. I think makeup could get or maybe, wardrobe. Maybe. Yeah, I just thought not I was wardrobe. like Colin Farrell. Wardrobe, what? Mm-hmm. wardrobe? I don't think you so. Don't think makeup wardrobe? maybe. The eyeliner on uh, Robert Pattinson. <laughs> <laughs> 
Why, why I mean, is he so thick? I saw, I saw <laughs> because really it's, the, it's the football stuff. About him going to, uh, <laughs> no, I saw, to Sephora? No, no, no. I saw, I saw a TikTok <laughs> yesterday. Of, it was a girl. She runs into her bathroom, and, and the caption says, when when the bat sign comes on, and she like has a little makeup pad, <laughs> and she's like spreading this black stuff on her eyes real quick, and then she runs What's the out. football stuff? So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that was really funny. I don't know. I, that was really funny. I, I did like his suit. <laughs> Yes, yeah, no, for sure. Like the battery, yeah, the yeah. yeah. yeah, that was cool. Yeah. Was and hard. I like his gauntlets. Oh, it's yeah, like gauntlets it's cool. like good, but not refined. I, I love that. Like it's like, you and it made him bulletproof. Hear, you can't hear him until you hear him, and when you do hear him, you hear it's that clod. Yeah. Yeah, you know I, what I mean? That slow. But like, when he didn't want to be heard, light. you couldn't hear him. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, and I, I did appreciate. Except his bike was also silent, which right <laughs> doesn't make sense. I did appreciate his little charger. <laughs> it's a hybrid bike. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. His little charger Batmobile. Yeah. Because I'll say this: American I've muscle. never been a fan of like. <laughs> I've always been a fan of gadgets and stuff. Like, I'm a huge mm -hmm. 007 fan, but I've never been a fan of like the fact that he always has this very unrealistic space mobile that just drives well, the on land. one was more realistic. Yeah, in the Dark in The, the Dark Knight one was realistic. Movies, well, well, yeah, real, I know. Like, what, but, like, that's... Yeah, I appreciate that this iteration of, like... Oh, you mean, like, not, like, the first one? The first one was cold. That might be... I had the toys, though. Oh, I yeah. did. Yeah. I mean, when that yeah. bike hopped out that, yeah. that car, I was like, oh, <laughs> it's just amazing. Yeah, yeah. Is it realistic? No. no. But it's a fucking yeah. comic book. But it's, right. I don't need realism. That's James Bond I'm looking at a rich right. man right. in a bat James Bond would have a car. Right. I would have a bike come Listen, out and him flying and then yeah. fumbling the landing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Because that, that kind of made sense. Because like, Yo, man, got up like, you oh, ain't shit. did this enough yet. <laughs> well, to yeah, like, exactly. That's like, it looked like the first time he had done that. Right. right. Yeah. All right. We're gonna try it. Prototype. Yeah, right. He's like, all right, well, yeah, right. right. He's like, he doesn't I have hope Lucius Fox yet. I, I, but to yeah, me, right. that's why the movie was so good because it's yep. young. Yeah, yeah he's still figuring Batman. it out. Yeah. And they 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 show and he makes so many mistakes. <laughs> and the, yeah, and the, that's true. And the Which fights, is cool. The yeah. fights were amazing. Yeah, the, the fights, fights were, were very daredevil. The fights like. were very. Yeah, good. that's yeah. what oh, I was just gonna the, say that. The, that's the, what it reminded me of. The, the dark hallway fight. Yeah, with that's the guns a, that's very daredevil. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, oh, this speaks to my soul. Yeah, and yeah. and and he got hit a couple times. Yeah, his arm is good enough where it's like, you know. Yeah, I'm until he shot him square in his chest with that shotgun. <laughs> yeah, he said, oh, he I'm, out. Out. I'm out. I'm out. Worthing out. He laid out. They almost took the mask off of him. That wasn't even a shotgun. That was like a uh, like a uh, a big game hunting rifle. Yeah. yeah. That was, like, yeah. That was, yeah. yeah. That was, yeah. 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 Put holes That's in the dude. A buffalo yeah. down with. Right. Yeah. And then he was going to shoot him right in the jaw. <laughs> like, yeah. I, I see where the armor ain't. Right. Right. Like this makes Ooh. sense, uh, but and no, then I, he was like, "Listen, Catwoman, I can't even get up listen, to help you right listen, now. I don't even Bat know what to tell he did, you." He, Batman had a little plot armor because he was played out a couple times in his movie. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that little, yeah, adrenaline a little bit shot. of plot. Right. No, even yeah. the adrenaline no, well, was, talk, was, was good, though. It was cool, yeah. right? That's, yeah. that's you said the what? The adrenaline that's shot. That's probably the most, yeah. that's that the was most Batman he thing in this whole that movie. Because he would have top. some shit like that. So, right. shark, I'll, back, back shark repellent type of shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just in case. This is, my, this is my hot take about the ending of the movie, where I appreciated that, like, the multi, multiple Riddler copycat fight. I, I like That's the part I like. Yeah. Yeah. But the last hour of this movie is a little weird to me. Why? Wow. Because, because they resolve it. Say what? Huh? Say what? What? It's weird <laughs> because y'all don't think it's weird that. So, of course, the Riddler gets what he wants done. Yeah. No, he they doesn't get, get to what these he fights. wants. Well, I mean, I mean he did, so well, mostly. No, but, he didn't get what he wants. No. Say what? The Riddler doesn't get what he wants. Right. But he. But what I'm saying is, is that he destroyed all the different pillars, yeah. let the water in. All of them are oh, in this. Can, I, can I jump in real quick? Listen, you strong, independent black woman. <laughs> when a black man Stop. tries to save your ass, <laughs> but you like, nah, I got to. Red that, pill. Red pill. No, that ain't red pill. <laughs> stay your ass where I said stay your ass because I got your best interest in mind. Yeah. I thought Every that was... time a black dude tell you something, it's not him trying to keep you down. Yeah. Got out there, got your ass shot. And luckily, it wasn't a fatal wound. Yo, yeah, that's true. that was hilarious. Because you wanted to be tough. Because like, now it's not the time to be tough, lady. Yeah. <laughs> what part are you talking about? That was when she was like, when, got when, shot. Like, when Gordon oh, told the mayor, oh, like, oh, he was like, "Yo, you need to lay low. Yeah, yeah. You need to lay low." And she's like, "But in her, in are, her defense, <laughs> she also the knows no defense. that the police are corrupt in a general sense." 
Do you know what I mean? Yeah. No. Uh, yeah. So if, if a cop, if a cop that I know comes from an area that's super corrupt tells me to do something, he's got a little less. But the with city me. is flooding at the same time. Yeah. Right. It's not in a vacuum. If yeah. it was in a vacuum, I would agree. Like I was right. also, but oh, she yeah, knew yeah. that somebody needed to tell people where to go and what to do. So she's you like, get okay, I'm the first. acting mayor. I and let should one probably of us be do the it. person to do no, it. You go first and one but of us will do it. But he didn't tell her that. He just told her to I don't she have, gotta go. I don't have to tell you that strong, independent black woman. You know what, though? No, but what <laughs> you I'm are, saying... You are number one on my mind. Ain't that what you want? Ain't that no, what you want? what I'm saying Don't you want a strong you, African you, king no, but here's to the protect thing. his queen? You would judge Ain't that what you want? But you would judge... What kind of forever? You would... You would judge a king for leaving the war, right? No, protect no. him at all costs. You play no. chess, right? Well, you play chess, right? One move, war. that's all you get to make. Make the right True. one move as a kid. Is it hurt? You really? gotta go. The king's gonna get out of there. go out first if, if it's a warrior country yeah, or it's for morale. The get yeah. low. Otherwise, he's a general. <laughs> get out of there. I, I think that she yeah. saw herself like that in a yeah. sense of like, I if I'm gonna leave. I can't be the first one gone. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. No, the first the That was that but yeah, you could tell I, that I that, that was her mentality. No, if I am no. going to lead, I she cannot to be save the first the world. one gone. I'm trying to save because your ass and you want to save the world. No, 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 but because Let's... that was the problem with all the former leaders was they were all about themselves. Yeah, and she was well. like, I can't even give people the idea that I'm going to be that type of leader in this type of city. But that's, yeah, which is, this, I, I mean, I think ideally, I, but that shot are, gives her street cred. I shouldn't. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> she got shot. Well, I don't, I don't disagree Listen, with you. It's dangerous. <laughs> we need to leave. Yeah. Yeah. That's I, all it should take. Yeah, no, I, I that's don't, not all it takes when you have to be the leader of a city. Nigga, when the city is flooding, yeah, I don't. But it, said, it say sends a bad to, message if everybody else message. is in danger I agree and with I'm Chris. the only well, person I'll, that ends up. I'll say this: I, agree with no. I don't disagree with your interpretation of her perspective. I'll say that, like, I think about when JFK got shot in public, mm -hmm. what the morale did for the entire government, and what what it ushered in after. Like, if she would have, like, hypothetically, if she would have passed after getting shot, like in that, that would have. The the whole city would have went into it already is I think now in like some sort of anarchy it, whatever anarchy it is now would have been twenty times worse yeah. knowing that yeah. the only form of like leadership. leadership is completely gone trying to and that's why stand you up save that and so I don't disagree with what you said yeah. I'm just like but uh, from her perspective and then him per not giving her she's like Joan of a, Arc okay <laughs> right no but but also it was like all you told me was don't go out there not uh, I'm going down with the front we'll of my right. do it it's dangerous <laughs> but it's dangerous. But, but, but don't go out there it's dangerous <laughs> but but say then it's like okay we still got to figure out a plan they're they're talking about she's over here with these other people that are part of the situation talking with the police that are handling this the scenario saying okay we need to you know we need to shut the doors and she's like Chris, but you said no Chris, listen to listen to me I'm, but you need to but you but we need to shut the doors because it's gonna flood and so we have to tell the people to do this and we can't accept more people in here and they're trying to figure all this stuff out and she's like okay let me go out on the podium and tell people try and tell people as much as i can to move to this area blah 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 then some random cop that's not a part of this conversation comes up to you the chief while you're on your way to the stage <laughs> random chief. cop right you gotta well, respect him <laughs> right. chief. but i don't know if she knows that she has so she's a mayor oh yeah then maybe she does know <laughs> oh, that to be fair but this cop I mean, comes up to her while she's on her way to the podium the after right. talking to the oh, other Negro. police officers <laughs> handling the situation, Apart talking me, about, we need to get you out of here because it's dangerous. It's like, no shit, Sherlock, it's flooding. Of course it's dangerous. But uh, we just talked about it. I need to go out on stage and tell everybody to whatever, whatever. Yeah. And he's like, no, no, no. It's dangerous for you Chris, without giving Chris, me more information. If I tell you him. don't go somewhere or go somewhere else and you don't listen to me, if you don't get killed, I'm gonna slap you myself. Because <laughs> I don't. I it's dangerous. Don't go there. But I mean, but it, for us, you uh, you've garnered a certain amount of trust with me that I would just trust your word for you to say that to me. She don't well, have that I think, with the police officers in the city to just be like, well, okay. Well, I don't know. I just think of like how the president moves, right? Like even the, like the president of the United States. As soon as like Secretary of Defense is like, yo. It's getting hot right now in the White uh, White House. Go. Get out of here. Secret, uh, secret uh, service agents is right at the door. Follow them. 
I'm not asking for a debrief. I don't need to know why. Like I'm the president. Like I don't need to but die it has right to do now. With like your trust in. But them. he's no, the, but you but don't. No, not the, necessarily the as president. In charge. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. He's in charge of her security detail. Period. Yeah, yeah. So you trust him when you was just gonna be out there and talk regular, but now you don't <laughs> trust me and what I got set up. <laughs> Like I'm letting you know it's dangerous. <laughs> like, but no, I think it's interesting. I think it's interesting. I I, I oh, wasn't well, you like didn't go, you didn't finish with your yeah yeah. Well that. yeah, I wasn't a fan of like <laughs> oh yeah. Dude, jump there in. are like last 45 minutes to an hour of the movie uh-huh. that is just kind of like him resolving himself. So like he hops on this like electric cable cord thing. Yeah. You think he dies? He just gets up. I don't think anybody thought he died. Well. Did you think that it was a risk for him to do that at all? Like, falling, well, yeah, I mean, like falling, hopping on that falling thing. forty feet into Yo, the water, yes. Himself. After yeah. getting shot in the chest the way he yeah. did, yeah, right. And then, like, then that's, and then it's just sort of like de escalate like the action and all of that sort of stuff just de escalates all of the, the movie, yeah. but it's all in the same scene. It's like, bro, no, you, but just, I think, you I mean, know what I mean? That, like, because I mean that that moment is the first time in the movie really that Batman recognizes, hey. What I'm doing is I need to save those people. Mm-hmm. Like, and if I don't, because you see the water level rising, you see the electricity. And if that is still connected and that electricity hits that right. water, every single one of the people is dead. Right. right, right, right. And so he realizes, all right, I might potentially have to sacrifice myself to save those people. So he cuts it, which obviously is symbolic of him like reaching out and yeah. being like this at the end of the movie, the hope yeah. symbol. Yeah. And like him falling then and then he's leading the people out like. The end was That's essential important. for him to actually separate himself from the Riddler. Yeah. yeah. Because yeah. that's why when the when I, the Riddler lookalike says, I am vengeance, and it's like, yeah, yeah I've been acting like these dudes the yeah. entire first part of this movie. Yeah. If I don't do the helping people part and I only focus on the if I only focus on the punishing people part. I am just like the Riddler, which is why he got that impression. Because I did no work helping, actually trying to help people. I only punish people. And so, like, it's like if I'm going to be a hero and I'm going to actually affect change, I need to be both. That's why the yeah, thing I about just thought- the foundation being the. Uh- being the thing with money laundering was so potent. Right, right. Uh, the um, the uh, the, the hope. Pro- what's it called? Yeah, the, the relief. Renewal. Yeah, the renewal. renewal. Yeah. yeah, that's why that was so potent. Because it's like me just saying, ah, I don't have to worry about that shit. Actually, actually created hurt. the problem. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think I just feel like that that didn't have to be three hours. That could have been like two fifteen. It didn't feel long to me. It didn't feel long to me either. I, it didn't feel, but it could have been truncated. No, they could have truncated that no. resolve no, part. It could have for sure. I don't think sure. I don't. I couldn't see anything that I'd take out. Honestly, no, me neither. That last thirty minutes could have been. But, but that's how all up past the forty. Actually, forty five minutes. Out, but how do you it, show but. his transition as a person right. and a hero then without that last thirty minutes? I think you. I think. I think that like that last he part was where Batman grimy, okay? No, no, no. I'm just saying the last part where he jumps into the water, does yeah. all that sort of stuff. You could just dialogue it all the way out. Like you could just monologue it all the way out no, from without having to do all of that. Yeah, but that's not it, interesting. That's what I'm saying. No, you can't no, dialogue that, that out. That. Not dialogue. I said monologue. You can't monologue that out either. Yeah, sure you can. When it didn't he that's what he him. did. That's what he did anyways. <laughs> that's what he was doing. And he's just showing him randomly. Taking people out of the water because and I'm like, he became a hero. Bro, in that so we moment. just so act like all this stuff ain't happy right now. Like it's, in this same space. But he, he, but in the past, he would have just let somebody else handle yeah. that part. Right. He, he would have only went. He would have only I, worried no, I, about the real dudes and then thought his job was done. Yeah. No, I don't. Again, I, I feel you. I still feel like that didn't need an hour. Like they didn't need an hour to resolve that part because that's pretty much from when that when the mayor gets shot all the way until. That like when he's helping people out of water, that's like essentially a third of the movie almost. Whereas like the first two hours, two hours and fifteen minutes is like the essential story, the mystery of the Riddler doing all of that sort of stuff. I just felt this could have been a little shorter in the end. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, here with it. Um, we here with it. Let's rate it one to ten. No sevens. I don't think anybody can give it a seven. Maybe. <laughs> you I like the Cat movie Woman a lot. Before. I like the movie a lot. <laughs> Continue in the street. Oh, you gonna get Catwoman a four? Of the Human Woman Club. 
Yeah, right. Yeah, actually, Listen, actually, I'm not. I'm not the woman not. hater. It's you. This when episode. He said, I'm a no, woman hater. The bear. When he said when he wanted <laughs> to talk about woman. when he said he wanted to talk about Miss Marvel, and when we were all hyped about it, he was kind of like, no, I, I was like, no, 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 no. Uh, I like Miss Marvel. I, I like Miss Marvel. I see. <laughs> this is a narrative that must stop <laughs> today. You got to stop it yourself. <laughs> no, no, no way. You find the power within yourself. Find the power. <laughs> Find your back. Be the change you want to see. Right. <laughs> I want to see you in a flooded area leading a bunch of women away the from torch. tragedy with your, with your role flare. <laughs> nah, not to with symbolize that. your change. Not your with, the, with, the, uh, with the background, the back, Batman background oh, music playing. Yeah. yeah this as long as one of them is Scar Joe, we're good. Right. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, we got a Raiden. Who's, who wants to go first? I'll do a nine. I was going to be like 8.75, but um, I'm doing a nine because I think that, like like I said, I think the romance in it was written poorly. Mm -hmm. I would agree. I would nine pretty much for the same way. That dynamic was just weird in it. Yeah. Everything else. But everything else was great. Yeah. Did they spend like, they didn't spend that much time together either. Like. No. Or it, it, to build a romance in well, a movie. Well, they spent actually I mean, a significant amount right, of time yeah. together. But like, yeah. but like face to face time to build a to, romance. Is what I mean, but like, not to build a rom like to build like a flirty relationship, but not right. like yeah. I care about you type yeah, relationship. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd probably also give it like a nine or like nine and a half because, like I said, this is my favorite Batman movie now. So yeah, I loved it. I loved the casting. I loved the the grittiness of the movie. I mm-hmm. loved the story. I loved the the Riddler was amazing. Um, I liked Robert Pattinson a lot as Batman. So, yeah, yeah, he he kind of. I mean, it. I'm digging it. He kind of. I I knew he was gonna do well, but it also like it was really cool to see him as Batman. Like I I compared to all the other Batmans that exist in history, and I'm like, oh man, this dude yeah. really like made a new kind of Batman in the sense that sure. he didn't have to like necessarily copy off anybody. Some of those angsty teen moments had me like, nigga, I will. He said, "Who the what? Right. The angsty team? What, uh, oh yeah, I did. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially in the beginning, I was like, I he's like, you got this me junk. with the. Uh, you're not my dad, or even like <laughs> even my in the dad, beginning, Alfred. You're not my dad. Like when he was like got to meet with the uh, the hedge yeah. fund people or the investors or, or whatever they were, and he's like, like I don't I don't care, I don't about, care any about any of that. that. I don't, like I don't care." Bro, you, you just don't... with the bank. Right. <laughs> you, 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 you definitely had like, black suit, yeah. Spider- Spider-Man vibes. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah, for sure. He took that, uh, that helmet off with the wet hair and stuff. Oh, and yeah. I was like, like bro, if you okay, He looked like he was about to start singing Green Day songs. <laughs> 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 but I, but I, he was a unique nah, he was, Batman. Was like, like he was, he was like no other Batman for sure. Yeah. Um, I don't know if he's like. Don't get me wrong. Like, there's like. There are um, ones who are better Bruce Wayne's and better Batman's, but I feel like as a balance, on young Batman, I think he did a good job. So with that, I think I'll go. I think I'll go nine. I don't do it for the cat woman thing. I do it because I feel like it was too long. The one point um, was cat didn't woman. didn't hate the movie, <laughs> didn't hate where it went, but it was yeah. it didn't need to be that long, in my opinion. You remember that if you're listening, you remember that rap conversation from before. <coughs> I, I feel that I sense that from from what, you about you the ending, what the benevolent mean? part. What? what? Okay, All right. again narratives, like but it. I but <laughs> hey, you the one. I mean, I, and I, how am I getting this judgment from you? Like, who me? Like, yeah, the me that wants to see the because I'm honest about it. I'm honest about it. I don't mind if the world burns just a little bit. <laughs> That's true. She don't. <laughs> but I, but I mean. Great movie. Um, I enjoyed it. April did enjoy it. She didn't like the ending either. But um, but we really did enjoy the movie. Uh, like I, it was a lot to pull from it. Uh, like a lot of talking pieces, the Zoe Kravitz stuff that we didn't really touch on as far as like the urban stuff from the Dark Knight thing. Y'all hear about that, right? I'm not going to dive all the way oh, into it. Oh, about her not being <clears throat> Like she didn't get an audition. audition because yeah. they weren't going for like an urban oh, look. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or whatever. Yeah. And so, I mean, but, I mean, the, uh, whatever. Yeah, exactly. Her, her, her dad's a rock star. Her mom's an actress. Like, right. she's not that urban. 
She's black. No. Yeah, right. Right, like, right. That's what she is. Right. <laughs> right. She's not urban. It's like, say, tell her what it is. The casting director is <laughs> racist. <laughs> right. <laughs> it is what it is. Right. So, yeah. But, yeah, yeah man. Thanks. That's thanks. Any last comments on Batman? Yes. DC, all the movies you make that are made like actual movies do well. A la Joker, a la this Batman movie. You're right. Try not to... Let's not focus on the action <laughs> movies <laughs> stuff, please. Let the DC... Well, I mean, you know, Black Adam's coming out, so... Well, yeah, um, but I DC mean... DC has better, like, stories for that, too. Their like, stories have Marvel's all... Marvel's built for camp, I think, yeah. a little bit more. Which is funny, because I think the DC, like, tele- live-action television show stuff was campy, like, with the Batman yeah. one. But, like... But the, that's because know, they had to change the comic itself. book to cater the kids, because... 1930s Batman was shooting niggas. Right. <laughs> so they had pop, to change pop. it up. When the comic book code came out, he's they like, had you to thought change it was the Batarang? No, this is, this is the Gatarang. <laughs> <laughs> the Gatarang. <laughs> this is Vengeance and the Nine. Right. Like, what you, what you, what you, That's what Vengeance and the Nine. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh my gosh! All right, my uh, bad. Uh, that was my note. fault. Yeah, right I didn't mean it. Right, I didn't mean to put up a can of words. We, uh, that was we funny. We still got to what you read and watch it all that stuff. So, um, uh, that yeah. was funny. <laughs> Y'all know the slogan: Stay colorful. Peace.